The seventh annual World Cannonball and Belly Flop Championships took place on Saturday at the Coach House Motor Inn in North Vancouver, and it was a super success. More than a thousand people were in great spirits to cheer on the 18 competitors entered in this year's edition. Included in the 18 were winners of regional championships in Calgary, Edmonton, and Denver as the sport continues to grow. The event will be viewed by more than 20 million Americans on NBC television. I was there at the Belly Flop Championships and have this for you. It started um, with a, uh, a promotional idea to announce the opening of a swimming pool at a, at a hotel here in Vancouver. And it grew from there. Uh, we have had over the years some interesting people at the event. Billy Carter, the former first brother of the United States, was here on two occasions. Two years ago, we had this San Diego chicken, and uh, we have just grown from there. Right from Center Court Wimbledon to Center Pool in Vancouver here, it, it's a change, but it's comp competition, and they have a little more fun here than they have at Wimbledon. I enjoyed it. What do you think? Anything unusual here that surprised you today? Uh, the thing that surprised me the most is all the competitors lift. Flick, flash, I was taking a bath. Long about a Saturday night. Yeah. A rub dub just relaxing in the tub. Thinking everything was all right. Well, I stepped out the tub, put my feet on the floor. I wrapped a towel around me and I opened the door. And in a flash flash, I jumped back in the bath. Well, how was I to know there was a party going on? There was a fishing and a flash. Reeling with the feeling, moving and a groove and rocking and a That's all I can say. It's unbelievable. I, my goal of going to this was just to, just to be in the top five. Uh, I didn't even think I'd win the Calgary one, and, and, and this one I won. I, just, I can't believe it. It's, it's unbelievable. That's all I can say about this. Did you go through a lot of training to prepare for the championships, both in Calgary and here? Yeah, I uh, stayed at the Capri Steakhouse every night in uh, Calgary, eating pizza and beer. It's the only training I ever did for this thing. Uh, it's just a, a big thrill. You know, I, I play a little bit of pro ball, but in one day here, I think I got more coverage you know, in a couple hours than I did in my whole football career. So I just can't believe the people that were out here. It was a super day. You know, just, just, uh, it was just one big party. It was super. Tell us about your football career. Well, it was one of those uh, short careers. Uh, had a little stay with the Edmonton Eskimos, drafted by the Argonauts, and tried out a couple times, but uh, I guess it just wasn't quite good enough, and that's the way it goes. So I went to school teaching. Super Flop 7 was a super success, and some say the crowd was too rowdy, but that was to be expected. The credit goes to the owner of the belly flop rights, PR genius Tom Butler of Vancouver. After seven world championships in Vancouver, regional championships have now been started in Calgary, Edmonton, and Denver, and by next year should spread to more cities. Tom Butler, with the help of his partner, four-time champion Butts Giroux, spent all year developing and expanding the idea. Butler has tried to get a major Canadian brewery to sponsor the event and a major Canadian television network to cover it, but both have given Butler the thumbs down, despite the fact 
For the past four years, NBC Sports World has aired the championships on numerous shows. And it has been an overwhelming success with more than 20 million viewers becoming aware that the city of Vancouver exists. It was different. I must say it was very, very different. But uh, we've, we've been committed to this for the past four years, and it's usually been a, a very good show for us, for NBC Sports World, and, and a lot of great responses, and even some pretty good ratings on them. So we're always pleased to come to Vancouver, and always pleased to do the belly flop contest. Any particular comments on the site of the contest? Do you think it might be moved, or are you happy with the way things went? I was in Los Angeles, uh, for about a week last month, surveying the uh, pools in the Southern California area. We're looking very strongly at the city of industry, at Mission Viejo, and at Westminster, California. It's just outgrown Vancouver. Yes, I'm afraid so. We need a larger venue.